Ring E3 Ubiquitin Ligase. Tyrosine kinase binding domain of Ring E3 Ubiquitin Ligase CBL in blue, with its substrate tyrosine kinase ZAP70 peptide in red. Three domains of CBL tyrosine kinase binding domain, a four helix bundle in green, an EF hand in cyan, and SH2 domain in blue. Only the second EF loop in cyan binds a calcium ion in yellow. The SH2 domain in blue recognizes phosphotyrosine of ZAP70 in red. The four helix bundle in green also contributes to the ZAP70 binding. The SH2 domain in blue shifts toward the 4 helix bundle in green upon red ZAP70 binding. E3 ubiquitin ligase CBL with E2 ubiquitin conjugating enzyme UBCH7 in yellow as a ternary complex with red ZAP70 peptide. The linker between the tyrosine kinase binding domain and the ring domain in magenta forms a helix and ordered loops in purple packed on the tyrosine kinase binding domain. The ring domain in magenta consists of a three-stranded beta sheet and an alpha helix stabilized by zinc ions in gray, and anchors onto the four helix bundle in green. The UBCH7 in yellow takes an E2 fold with four alpha helices and a four stranded anti parallel beta sheet. E3 R and F4, E3 ring domain and magenta bound to E2 UBCH5A in yellow conjugated to a ubiquitin in red. Ubiquitin in red is bound to E2 UBCH5A by an isopeptide bond. Active sites of E2, UBCH5A in yellow for red ubiquitin transfer surrounds the isopeptide bond, ring domain and magenta function as a dimer, and ubiquitin in red interacts with both of them. Combined structure of CBL with a 4 helix bundle in green, an EF hand in cyan, a SH2 domain in blue, a ring domain in magenta, a E2 domain in yellow, and ubiquitin in red.